Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hideaway Homestead. I'm Mike, and on today's episode, we're gonna be putting some new mailboxes in. So we have a existing mailbox um, for the post office, and I'm gonna replace it with this one. It's a larger mailbox, so you can put packages in it. Um, we have a lot of parts and things of that nature that get uh, sent here to the homestead, things for the tractor, the equipment, um, you know, just stuff of that nature. And also, we're going to be putting a mailbox in for Chris's house. Um, Chris's house does not actually have a mailbox, even though he does have a street address. So we're going to be putting that in from scratch. So I'm going to be digging the hole for the pole. I'm going to be placing the pole in there. I'm going to put some quick crete around it, uh, some concrete. And, um, and then we'll go ahead and put stickers on them and some reflectors to make sure you know nobody hits them. Smash that like button if you like this episode, and if you're not already a subscriber, consider hitting the subscribe button down in the bottom. Um, that really helps us out here at the homestead, and we come out with new episodes every Thursday that you might like. So let's get going. folks so we're down here at the existing mailbox and I've already removed all the numbers off of it and the lettering so that uh, for privacy reasons but I'm going to go ahead and measure the existing post to see how far it's sticking out of the ground that's going to tell me how much I need to cut the other post um, accounting for a couple of feet that I'm going to put it into the ground And that's about 34 inches. Yeah, a little, little shy of 34 inches, but close enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back up to the house, cut the post to size. Then we'll come down and take this one off, put the new one on this one. We're gonna go ahead and bury the other post. Um, I'll have to go check one of my neighbor's houses to see uh, what numbering um, it needs to be. And then we'll go from there. So now I want to go down 35 inches. We have a really flat surface now. And that that there is 35. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna mark the 35. But then I'm going to uh, I'm gonna want this to go in the ground pretty decently. So it can last us a long time. So like for example, that's a foot. If I go at least two feet into the ground and I put quick crete all around it, we're gonna be in pretty good shape. So I'm gonna measure down here. And I'm gonna make a little X so I know that that's my cutoff. Okay, so there's a board sitting here. We kind of looked at this a little bit. There's a board sitting here that these screws are screwed into and then this kind of slid into it. So I'm gonna take that off. All right, and ta-da. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and open up the, the new mailbox see kind of what the instructions are for how to get this thing mounted to that post. Huh. 
we went up to the uh, post and we found that there was a board underneath the old one and that board's too um, long. It's, uh, it's just wide enough actually, but it's just too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually cut a new board out to sit here. But also the uh, mailbox did not come, and this is good to know, it did not come with any hardware for actually attaching it. So what I need to do is I need to look for some pretty solid um, hardware that I can use. And I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I think I'm going to use just some standard deck screws. Okay, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put a washer on them. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use some washers and I have some 5 16 washers here and you can see that I can butt that up against it and it, it won't go anywhere and it'll hold it down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna kinda push it in a little bit, see where we're at. And I'm gonna make a relative mark here. So I feel like um, it doesn't have to be all the way up to this. So right about there. I'm gonna transfer that over the edge here. And that'll be my cutoff. So I'm gonna cut this piece off. I'm gonna leave this piece as the cutoff because as you can tell, there's a couple knots in it and those are bad spots. So I just want the good piece of the wood. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my crosscut sled that I, I actually made this jig myself for my table saw. And it allows the table saw to make cross cuts instead of rip cuts. If you're not familiar with woodworking, a rip cut is when the board goes through um, lengthwise and you go with the grain so it severs the grains apart like this a cross cut, you're cutting across the grains. So imagine it's a bundle of straws, you're sawing through it. And that's what we need in this case. And you can see here, I'm just gonna get it right up to the line. It doesn't have to be perfect, we can sneak up on it. And we're gonna go, and I don't have the blade sitting up too high. You don't want it exposed too much. The more the blade's exposed, uh, the more dangerous the cut could be. Safety first, so I'm gonna put my safety glasses on, and I'm gonna put my hearing protection on, and then I'm going to turn on my dust collector. I made the decision that I actually, I'm gonna go ahead and glue up two of these boards to make it a little bit bigger surface area for the bottom of the mailbox. So what I've got here are some bar clamps. I've got some tight bond, quick and thick. So this allows me to put this on here, glue it up. I'm gonna get lunch, I'll come back. This will be pretty much ready to go. And the nice thing with this is you don't even really need to spread it. It's gonna, once it hits the uh, other board, it's gonna sit in place pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, you know, one set of boards here. Just gonna lay this down here. Not a big deal. All right, and all a coal is, Coal, if you're hearing that southern draw in my voice, is it's a piece of wood that's really flat that has um, packing tape on it. And what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to place it on the sides here and clamp it down against one another and that'll help keep the boards from cupping a little bit. It doesn't have to be too tight to start with. And the packing tape keeps the uh, glue from gluing this piece of wood to the workpiece. And 
and I like to clamp them pretty close to where your line is that you're trying to put together. I love these Jorgensen clamps because they uh, they have um, flat edges on them so that you can like set your workpiece down with you know no problem. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take all the clamps off and go ahead and take the new board up there and screw that board in. I like to take the bar clamps off first so that the boards aren't more likely to separate because it hasn't been glued very long. Be careful with these boards until I can get them screwed in because, like I said, the glue has not been setting very long like less than an hour. But you can see that quick and thick holds things together pretty, pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drill a couple of pilot holes in here so that the boards don't split. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some washers on these as well, just to kind of help the board cinch down. Make sure we're kind of level with the road here. That is pretty solid. You can see it sits in there pretty good. Push it back as far as it'll go. Make sure it's supported. And we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and screw these in. I got some washers. one there in the back, the back right, so that it kind of locks it into place where I have it. Um, it depends on your local uh, regulations, but I think like federally they recommend 41 to 45 inches high. This one was already 35 inches, so I'm just going to go with what it was. Um, they also recommend 6 to 9 inches from the road. We're, we're well enough off the road um, with, with the mailbox. We did call our local post office to ask them about this before we started doing any of this work. And um, I recommend you do the same. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to mark a spot right here. I'm going to start digging. I gotta get this guy dropped down to about as low as that one. It's gonna take a little country muscle, um, but 
yeah, once we get that in there, I'll be able to put some uh, cement around it and then this thing will be really good to go. So you can see here, I'm just gonna put this, this in. And this is just an old post digger. There's a root. Right. There that I just got out. And we're probably gonna have to dig this one around pretty deep because that post is pretty wide. This is for skinnier posts. Um, so I'm gonna dig that out. You can uh, you can go get a iced tea or something or come back here in a little bit and we're gonna YouTube the magic. This uh, hole will just be done when you get back. One eternity later. This is a 50 pound bag of quick creep. And this is the quick setting. You don't have to actually get it wet. You can just put it in dry. And like I said, we went about two, two, like maybe two foot, three inches. So this post is sitting pretty well with that other one now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it level and we can kind of eyeball that and then I'm just gonna set the quick feed all around it and put a little bit of a mound next to it. So I'm putting a little notch right here. And make sure you don't breathe this in. It is concrete, you know, stone dust. Probably with a lot of chemicals mixed in with it. You don't wanna breathe that in. And I'm just gonna shake it around a little bit. See, that's pretty sturdy in there already. And I'm gonna pack it down, and then I'm gonna place a little more around it. And pack it down. And like I said, you don't have to put water in there. And the next couple times it rains, it'll it'll really lock it in. I'm kind of tapering it down towards the bottom and pushing towards the pole so that if it rains, it'll run away from the pole. Yeah, that is pretty solid. All right, folks. Well, that is the end of the episode. I have the mailboxes in place, and I'm gonna go ahead and put our numbers on them, and I'm going to put some reflectors on there, and then that's it. Um, as always, 
make time for dirt time.